<laughs> okay, let mommy create this video because people want to learn how to start a YouTube channel. Okay. All right, you guys, just as you can see here, like, I'm busy. I have three little kids, and yet I'm still trying to start this whole YouTube thing. And so can you. Hey guys, it's Q. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I want to talk about how and why you should start a YouTube channel. Now, before I started my YouTube channel, there were so many excuses that I had, like, what are people going to think? Well, if someone says something mean to me on my channel, well, if my channel is not successful, am I going to be wasting my time? Is anyone going to watch my videos? Am I really going to make money? Excuse after excuse after excuse. Oh, I have kids. When am I going to have time to do that? You guys, cut the excuses. Because if you want to start a YouTube channel and you're serious about it, you can do it. You have to put those excuses to the side and really commit yourself. If this is something that you really want to do, then you have to just go full force and just do it. Like my grandmother always tells me that you got to just have faith and just keep pushing through and things will more than likely work out for you. So that's what I did. I said, you know what? I'm going to just try this thing because one, I like making YouTube videos. And I just like being able to share my ideas and things with people. So why not you know and if people don't like it then so long story short before i started my youtube channel i was like what am i going to do and then like wait a minute that's just a silly question because i own a business so why not promote my business so my business of craftyq.com is what i decided to go ahead and promote using youtube i figured like i could target a broader audience because my business is online why not? This is it's a great thing to do. And we have these people on YouTube making full-time income. Actually, you know what? I take that back. They're not just making full-time incomes. These people are making like tons of money. Tons of money. I mean, it's ridiculous. Like if you go and browse through um, YouTube and check out some YouTubers and see how much money that they're actually making. I mean, these YouTubers are actually showing you like how much money they are making. And I'm like, I only need just a little teeny itsy bitsy weeny amount like that. I don't even need all that. I mean, it would be nice to have all that. But for now, I just need a little bit. So, I think I'm going to start a YouTube channel. So, if you guys are, again, serious and you want to, you know, turn this into a full-time business, then you guys got to do it and you got to be committed to it. Now, I have to tell you a little secret. I have just recently hit 1,000 subscribers. And it was such a challenge. It took me like a year and a half. Yeah, about a year and a half. Now, I do have to say that I wasn't very consistent. I would put up, you know, one video one week, take a break for another two weeks and do another video. So, not consistent at all. And I think that's why my channel actually took a little longer for it to actually grow. So, one tip I'll tell you guys is try to be consistent. And even till this day, I'm still not consistent. I would like to upload like two videos a week and sometimes I just can't you know like because I do have kids I do run a business so it is hard but at least I'm trying my best to at least get one video up a week and I still don't think that's good enough even though I have seen some growth by me adding you know two more videos up I just can't do it right now so learn from my mistakes if you guys are going to do this upload at least two videos a week and be consistent choose your days that you're going to upload so say you want to upload on a Sunday and a Thursday then do that every week and try and pick a certain time so say you want to upload at you know 12 noon like when people um, go to lunch during the week that might be a good time to upload because people go on their lunch break and they have time to sit and watch YouTube videos there you go your videos are out there so that way people can choose to watch them oh yes yeah, so let me just go back to the whole excuse thing because another one of my big excuses was wow there's so many youtubers out there and they are just like killing it in the YouTube world. So why would anyone go and watch my videos? You know, like, I think it's too late. And that's so not true. If it were too late, then none of my videos would get views. And I'm getting views. I mean, uh, granted, they're not getting like, you know, millions and, and like 
thousands and thousands of views like my a few I do have a few YouTube videos that have reached over 25,000 or 20,000 views which to me is great that is 20 some thousand people who've actually seen my videos where I have gotten my crafty Q name out there you guys like how I did that yeah so I mean you guys so don't think that it's too late because it's not and the more and more that you say oh it's too late to do this you're just wasting time. You're you're wasting precious time where you could already had a few videos up and already gotten like some views on them. So don't use that as an excuse because it really is not an excuse at all. All right, and you guys, the reason I keep looking down is because I got my notes down here. I want to make sure that I cover everything. All right, so next we have is when you start uploading videos, your videos are going to be whack and they're probably going to suck. But you know what? It's it's a learning experience. You gotta put something up in order to learn from your mistakes. You see this? I'm speaking of videos. I have a ton of blooper videos with my kids. I'm gonna keep this in here because I want you guys to see how hard it is to film. What are you doing? I'm trying to create a YouTube video for people. Okay. All right. See you later. See you later, alligator. See you, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Okay, he's not gonna leave. So anyway, so your videos aren't gonna be good, you know, like unless you're just some professional video creator, which I'm not nowhere close to it. As a matter of fact, I am still filming all of my YouTube videos on my cell phone. It's my five, six year old cell phone that I'm using. And as far as lighting, I do have like a ring light and some lighting equipment, but I'm not even using that right now. I'm using, <laughs> you know, mother nature. I'm using just this window light right here. Thank you, babe. Hey, you want to take, you. take your brother? Okay. Thank you. I'm just using old, good old natural window light. You guys don't even need much to even start. I mean, most people have cell phones. Most people have windows. So you, you're already, you already have the game right here. You can just start with that to create your videos. Also, to let you guys know, this is not easy. I don't know why I thought it was like, oh, I can just record a video and just throw it up and that'll be it. No, there's so much that goes into it. So just this one video I've done took me like three to four days just to edit it because I'm not good at editing. It's brand new to me. It still is new to me. Granted, after I've done it a few times, I have like a hundred and some videos that I'm learning the whole editing process. But there's so many apps online and on your phone that you can use to edit your videos. So it depends on what editing software you have. You can go on YouTube and just learn that software. And it's exactly what I did. I'll link the video editing software that I use below in the description. But I mean, there's so many things that you can use to edit your videos. I mean, some people are good enough where they can just create a video and just upload it because everything is perfect. You know, I have to like take out some of my ums and you know, where I pause a lot because it takes a while for me to create my videos and upload them and trying to make them as perfect as can be. You know, granted that I don't know much about video editing, so it is, it is time consuming. But because I want to do this and I enjoy doing it, then I'm going to take that time to go ahead and, and, and to make it the best that I can. All right, so the first thing you have to do is to actually choose a niche. So that was, it was easy and hard for me because I knew I had a business. I know I want to promote my business. So I already had my niche. My niche is like crafts and DIYs. So I already knew that. But at the same time, I also wanted to do more like vlogs and just like a day in my life, which every now and then I would throw a few of those into my um, Crafty Q YouTube channel. But for the most part, my niche, uh, my niche is DIYs and crafts. So that's mine. But there's so many different things you guys can choose from. I mean, there's so many things to choose from. I mean, even if you can't think of things, a day in my life videos or cleaning videos or cooking videos. Now, these videos are great, especially if you don't want to show your face because not everyone wants to show their face on YouTube. So, and I get that, you know, especially those days when I wake up and I was just like, I don't feel like putting on makeup. I don't feel like getting dressed. Let me just do a video where I'm just doing a craft where I'm just showing my hands. So whenever you guys see videos like that, when you only see my hands and me doing something, just know that I didn't feel like getting dressed and all made up that day. So there you go, a little secret for you. And, but there's a ton of things that you can do. And where people think like, you know, like, 
I don't even know where to start. Just sit down. Actually, I actually have a video on this, you guys. It's like how to come up with like um, business ideas. But just sit down, get a piece of paper, jot down things that you guys like to do, and then just go over it, narrow it down, and just choose one. You know what I mean? So you have at least that to start with. So that's rule number one is to choose a niche. All right, second, you need to choose a name for your YouTube channel. So with my name is Crafty Q, um, just because I like, you know, my, my niche is craft. So I wanted something that had craft in it. So something kind of catchy, Crafty Q. But you guys can choose, you know, a name that fits exactly what you're doing. So maybe you do DIY, so DIY Jane or, um, or you know, or cooking with, Kinsley. I mean, I don't know. You guys just come up with something that's catchy, something that's easy to remember because you want people to be able to remember your name and be able to easily type that in so that way they can find you to watch your YouTube videos. All right, next you want to create a good YouTube profile picture. So, um, most people have like pictures already of themselves, but if you want something a little bit more, um, flashy or something a little more catchy, then just grab your phone, take a quick little photo. I mean, you can do something where, you know, you're, you know, if you want to be cute, you know, you can do a little profile photo, something like this, maybe a little closer. Something like that. You know, you get my drip. So you can do that or you can do something where, um, if you're talking about cooking, you could hold up a spatula in your picture. Like technology or computers or something, you can, you know, Make sure in your photo and like hold your, you know, tablet, whatever it may be. Just try to find something catchy. I've seen some quirky photos where people are just like posing like this or, you know, like this. I don't know. Just think of something that when people see your profile picture, there's like, oh, okay, that's so and so. So that's a great point of trying to get people to, you know, look at your videos because they see this profile picture that fits what you're talking about. All right, next, let me let me look at my list. Okay, next is a YouTube header. I haven't gotten really good at my YouTube header. Right now, it just says Crafty Q, but there's nothing with crafts in it, but I should actually put something where a picture of maybe the DIYs I've done or uh, me holding up like some paper or some scissors, I don't know, so that people will understand what I'm actually doing on my channel. So again, learn from my mistakes, your header, you know, put your name, but also put something where people will actually know just by looking at your header what your channel is going to be about. Okay, so now let's talk about equipment. Now, touch on this a little bit before. Now, for me, I'm just totally using my cell phone. It's been working okay. My videos come out okay. They're not the best quality, but they're good enough for people to watch and, you know, see what I'm doing. As far as lighting, I'm using my, you know, all natural lighting from this window right here. Just went to an area of my room that has like the best lighting. So I'm sitting in front of this window. I don't have anything, any other lighting on right now. Just this natural lighting to me, which is the best lighting because even when I use my studio lights, some of the lights can be harsh or it's just too soft. I don't know. I just I haven't got it down right. But um, I do have a ring light and a ring light works pretty well and I'll link in the description below the ring light that I use but if you don't have the money to do that right now it's fine use your cell phone use some window lighting and that's all you need to get started don't think that you have to go out and buy all this expensive equipment just to start a YouTube channel again you're just wasting time use what you got I mean unless you got the funds to do it by all means go ahead and do it but if not this is just fine just to get started Next big thing is to create a good thumbnail for your video. So I try my best to make catchy thumbnails, but sometimes it just can be hard. Sometimes I forget to actually take a photo when, you know, while I'm making my video. So I have to go through and, you know, either go take a picture later or capture a picture from my actual video that I'm doing. As a matter of fact, let me do a picture right now. Let's see. With this one, I, because I'm talking about YouTube, let me do this. Okay, so yeah, it looks silly, but at the same time, I got my YouTube thumbnail. So while you're making your videos, try to stop in between and do like a, a photo based on what you're talking about, or don't forget to do a picture um, after you're 
done creating or before, whichever, just do a video, just do a photo that relates to what you're talking about. Take that photo, put it into Photoshop, or if you don't have Photoshop, drop it into um, a software, a free software, I believe is called Canva. Or, you know, if you don't even have that, I mean, even most computers have a program called Paint, which is free. You can even do that. You know, fix the color a little bit, you know, do a little brightness and contrast to it and, you know, add some text to it to kind of say what you're going to use. Like for this video, I think I'm going to do how to make a YouTube video. I'll figure out something out later, but it'll be something along those lines because that's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to, you know, teach people how to start a YouTube channel. So also don't put too much text because you just want something that's going to be nice, big letters that people can read with a nice, easy font to read. Don't use any cursive fonts because they're too hard to read, especially if people are looking at YouTube videos or on their cell phones, like trying to like sit there and figure out what the video is about based on like the text. So stick to like your basic like Arial, Times New Roman. There's another font called Bebas, Bebas, I don't know, B-E-B-A-S that I see a lot of YouTubers using. So that's a good one as well. And the main thing to do is to promote your videos. A big mistake that people make is thinking that YouTube is just going to take their videos and just put them everywhere and your video is going to go viral. No, there are so many creators. There are so many videos. You need to do some of that work yourself by promoting your own videos. And in order to do that, you can post your videos on your Facebook page. You got Instagram, you got Twitter. I mean, you got TikTok. I mean, where else? Pinterest. And just letting your family and friends know. I mean, you can start off right there. So that was one of my biggest mistakes because I was so worried about, oh my gosh, what are my family and friends going to think? I'm going to be so embarrassed. But actually, you know, it took me like almost a year before I even told any of my family and friends. And then, because I was embarrassed. I didn't know what they were going to think about me, like watching me, like act silly on my YouTube videos. And, and to be honest, it actually helped my YouTube channel. It actually helped me you know, grow from my, from zero subscribers to a thousand subscribers because my family and friends, you know, supported me and started sharing the videos to other people. So you have to actually promote your own videos as well if you want your channel to be successful. So I think I cover most of everything. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos because I know the struggle. Again, it took me like a year and a half to grow my channel. I quit YouTube so many times. I at least once a month I quit I quit YouTube. Like and imagine if I totally quit and just gave up. I wouldn't be this close to reaching um of actually getting monetized, which I'm very close to getting. It's just those little few amount of watch hours that I need to get, which if I would just add more videos and and be consistent, I would probably be there already. But again, I'm learning from my mistakes. I'm going to make this year a better year. I'm going to try to focus more on my YouTube channel and, you know, just try to do this thing because I want to be monetized and I want to, you know, I, I want, truthfully, I want to be a full-time YouTuber. As silly as it may sound, these people out here are killing it and I want to be one of those people too. And if you want to as well, then you got to be consistent and you got to be committed and you just have to go for it. So no more excuses. No more excuses. All right, guys, I hope this video helps you out. I hope you go out right now and just start making videos. I mean, you can start right now. Just grab your phone, grab your phone. And go sit in front of a window and talk about something. And, you know, right now, just start putting videos up and you're gonna get the hang of it. You're gonna start feeling a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera because at first I didn't. And even still, every now and then, I have my moments where I'm just like, oh, I don't know. But you know what? I just put it out there. And the funny thing is some of the videos where I don't feel comfortable are some of my videos that have gotten the most views and the most likes and had the most shares. So you can do it. So you guys, I hope again this helped. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And if you want to see a lot more videos like this where I can tell you more tips and tricks on how I got, you know, from zero to a thousand subscribers, then hit me up below in the you know comment section just to let me know and I will chat with you in the next one. Take care. Bye.